Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another episode of Silver on Forest. So in today's episode, we are going over our productions. So we've got our steel mill and iron ore production underway. So I'm just in the iron furnace production menu here at the moment. Just checking in. Uh, we have our first batch of steel ready to go. So 1,000 one thousand piece one ton rolls right there. Uh, we've got our little iron ore setup which we did last episode also. Uh, we've also got a new auto loading pallet trailer which I've tested out and seems to be working quite well. So um, let's go and see if we can't first job actually is to load the, mill, the timber mill here. So it's a little bit low on, low on logs. So I just need to top that up. And then we're going to go do some deliveries to the roller coaster. Uh, get that ticking along a little bit more. So we're making progress. Uh, obviously the next project is going to be to get some uh, cotton. So for fabric, so we can do the ship sail. Because the ship requires fabric in order to build the sail. And I think everything else we've got production wise should be pretty well pretty well covered so cotton will be the last piece of the puzzle in order to uh, we'll probably do another load actually so yeah so cotton production once we get that underway we can get a spinnery then a tailor shop get that cotton happening and then we can really ramp up the boat production so that iron iron ore and the uh, iron furnace that's going to tick along basically automatically now uh, with that conveyor belt so we are pretty well set up now uh, we also hit the pallet limit last episode so i wasn't quite sure what the issue was with the pallets but after a little bit of research there's a 50 pallet limit for console so as soon as you have 50 pallets spawned in your game you can't spawn anymore so I am going to have to well first of all I've cleared out some pallets that I had just remaining around the map uh, I've cleared out some of the pallets from our little stockpile near the wood turner and the uh, let's go let's go on one more load while we're here um, yeah the stuff I had stockpiled the furniture so I'm just letting that build back up so that's why we've got a bit of money at the moment. Because we did pretty well out of the tables and chairs. Uh, so there's a few more things to sell, but uh, we're not desperate for money at this stage, so not as critical. This log grab is really good. So how many logs have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's like 14 12 meter logs in one go. You can definitely feel the weight in this. So let's drop that down. Oh, get a bit heavy. So the amount of time to move these individually would just be astronomical. So being able to, being able to load this, oh, we can't turn. Okay, let's see if we can't recover our balance here definitely pushing the limits of what this thing can carry let's try that again yeah definitely being able to lift this much uh, this this many logs in one go definitely efficiency saver so that's almost that's all of the logs really 75 is the limit so we've hit the limit for that all right let's move on so we'll come back and top that up later on uh, we need to find our new pallet truck and trailer. So this is the setup I've got. So the trailer is, if I can disconnect it, Lizard Logistics Big Bag Trailer. So that is in the mods. Hopefully it's the last. It's in alphabetical order. It is. I don't know if the mod author or the details are in this section, but 
I mean, it should be here somewhere. Here we go, auto load pack. Yeah, this one here. So it is the Lizard Big Bag Trailer Auto Load Pack mod. And it'll do 16,000 litres of every item in the game. Uh, best setup is with a tractor because the uh, draw bar is nice and high. Tried to use the Lizard Pickup. However, that ran into an issue with the trailer getting too heavy and the front wheels lifting off the, off the ground. So uh, the tractor seems to be the go. And the benefit this trailer has opposed to the Bachmann auto loader is that this will actually overload the items at the sell point. So you don't have to eject them and then move them, which just helps us uh, with additional transit. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the, the railings. So what I should do here is I should just be able to drive up beside them and it'll start to auto load. Cool, so that's good. And it will pick up just... So let's pick up these ones here while we're in transit. Just picks up the ones in proximity. So I might just have to do a bit of maneuvering here. Yeah, that's got it. So it's got a fairly wide um, pickup radius. So I think that's getting most of them. See if we can get those two there. So with these ones I might just need to back in a touch. Swing it around this pole. And there you go, we've got the trigger for one and then the trigger for the other. Cool, so 13,000 litres of staircase railing. So we're going to go drop that off at the roller coaster and then we'll do a bit of a check on our stock there. And we've, also, and we've cleared out our stock of tables and chairs which we did last episode so that was reasonably lucrative in terms of uh, income I'm actually on the wrong side of the road here so let's get onto the right side of the road so this is this is a good size for this town area I mean not too big still pretty maneuverable All right, let's let's swing this over and hopefully, I tested this earlier, so this should overload, which it is not. Hmm. Okay, so that might be because maybe it may not take any more staircase railings. So let's see if I can unload this. So this is the other issue with this trailer. You can't unload on this land, which is problematic, so let's see if I can do it here. No. Let's try. Let's try and do it just on the road. So the thing what this does is it should spit them out. Oh hang on, did that just drop off a few? Okay, there we go, they dropped them there. So it's going to block traffic, but I will just use the Elite Wolf, which is over here, to push them into place. So I've just leased this for the for this purpose. I mean, not realistic, but just cuts down my transit time having to go back and forth with these trailers. But it appears some sell point, like say the Silver Run Market for example, doesn't seem to accept um, Perux out of this trailer, and also the roller coaster. So let's see if, let's see if we can get a couple of these in. Okay, so it's, it's consuming them. So it's just taken our staircase railing stock up to 3,000. So we also need to do a roller metal, so it's probably going to be the same scenario. I'm just going to need to drop them off on the road and then push them in. And because these are nice and light, the. I mean, this is perfect for this job. I mean, I keep saying it, but. Just save so much time. Okay, so I think that is probably maximum stock of. 
staircase railings so you can see we're maxed out on 10 10,000 liters and the little number is um, <clears throat> sort of bugging out a little bit so it's just trying to consume all that stuff so let's park this up out of the way so I don't know if the roller coaster has actually built anything yet so I think it takes a full 12 to 13 months to complete so parts of it are built anyway let's get let's get back to our uh, get back to our vehicle this one here now we'll go pick up a load of steel so we've got a full um, loading area of steel ready to go and this trailer should pick that up and then we'll just have to unload it in the same fashion we just did oh come on there we go let's get cruise control on actually so I think the the roller coaster works in basically three stages spread out over 11 stages within those three stages so I think it's like three months of one stage then five months of, of stage two and then whatever's remaining is considered stage three and at those different stages uh, there's different consumption requirements for what the roller coaster needs so let's see if this will pick this up not looking good so far oh there we go probably just not close enough let's try again okay we seem to be getting some there See if I back into it, if that makes any difference. Okay, that is not doing anything. Let's try the other side, so I'll swing past going the other way. Otherwise we can try the Bachmann, the 20,000 litre, that may... Nope. Alright, let's go and we'll go and drop this load off and then we're gonna try the other trailer. Failing that we'll just have to load manually. Because I've still got the Bachman. And I've still got the other auto loading trailer, the big one, so we might try that too. It's just a little bit sketchy sometimes in terms of the trigger working. So I really hope in the next game they uh, have auto load standard out of the box for console. I just feel like that would be a, a great addition to the game. And then obviously increasing the pallet amount to perhaps 100. Just so you can stockpile your production pallets a bit more. Okay, let's see if these will trigger an overload. Nope. Oh yeah, so this one overloaded. And this one's actually picked up the... Okay, this one's actually giving me the overload trigger. I just have to manually do it. Okay, so I've actually I've accidentally picked up those staircase railings. So what I'm going to do is because they're maxed out, I want to I want to store them out of the way. So if I go over here, uh, let's go unload. There we go. So you just can't unload on that on that piece of land. So if I get the let wolf push these over off the road and then push them into position when I need it. I just need to make sure I don't drive past them and accidentally pick them up. Okay, let's try this. Go over there. I think we need shingles too, so I need to check that. Uh, 
Alright, so what do we got? Shingles, we've probably got enough. Uh, metal, we've probably got enough. So basically, if we run time forward for a little bit now, so which we will do that now. So let us... Hopefully we can get the next stage of the build, because I don't think I've actually seen this move forward, because we've been a little bit delayed because we didn't have metal. So let's go 360 time scale. You can see the metal is being consumed. Yeah, something tells me I'm going to have to sleep for this to actually work. Alright, let's do... Let's put it back to real time. Uh, I just want to check the equipment sales quickly. Lizard excavator. Pretty cool, but don't need it. Um, I'm waiting for my trees to grow in this field here. My sawmill is full at the moment. So let us... Let's just check on this. Because I've got some... So let's get back into here. Turn that back on. So I just want to empty that out for the day. Uh, we should have pro probably spawned some more pallets. Maybe not. Okay, cool. Let's get the rest of this wood in here so we can get another full cycle. That's not registering for some reason. Okay. Let's try. See if that'll pick it up. Uh, potentially won't take it because the volume's too high. Um, where is the closest vehicle? Probably this one. So I'll just go run over to the farmhouse. Jump in, sleep for one day, and then we'll go and check on the roller coaster progress. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we are back on real time. Ooh, we got a tree planter for 14 grand. I don't think I need it. Cultivator. This one will create fields. So it could be useful. So let's just let's have a think about that one. Alright, let's go over to the roller coaster. I should have a vehicle over there. Uh, yep, this one here. Okay, so... Yeah, so it's still going to need a half a day to consume that metal by the looks of it. So let's see if we can't speed up time again. And we'll just see if we can't... Wait for this to... So it's going to take probably all day, to be honest. So where are we? Nine o'clock. Ah, uh, look, I'm just going to sleep again because this will take too long. So let's get back to real time. Uh, I'm going to pass on the cultivator and the planter. Actually, unless I've got that planter leased, which I do not. Forestry equipment. So I actually did purchase one, so that's fine. Don't need a second one at this stage. Alright, uh, I really need a vehicle need near the... I'm just going to drive this front loader over. Oh yeah, there we go. We've got a growth state on our lodge poles. So that's probably been, ooh, I'd say, four months. So that's four sleeps. So what are they? What growth state are they at? 11.6. So they'll get they'll get three times the height of that when they're fully grown. So rather than cut them down now, we'll wait. And I think this time around I'll get a second plantation going. Just so I have a plantation to cut down and a plantation growing at the same time. This alternate between the two. 
Right, I'll just quick check the equipment. I think I've already done this. Yes, I have. All right, let's sleep. Give our give our metal time to absorb into the roller coaster. Now the other productions should just be uh, ticking along. They should be at max capacity, but they're not actually producing any uh, any um, products because now yeah, this wood should sell now. There we go. Can't turn. Look at that pile. So that's. I probably should have done this yesterday. Let's try this. Uh, okay. So that should overload all by itself. Okay, let's go and check out how we're traveling. Still 35 liters. Wow, that is really slow. Okay, this time I am going to just speed up time because I reckon we can wait. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long. So while that's ticking, while that's ticking down, we've got, let's check the stock of the other stuff. So wood beams, planks, staircase railings, planks, long shingles, metal and floor tiles are all pretty good. I think what I'm going to try and do is maintain maximum volumes of storage. So when we do go to go through a game day, which is basically one day is one month, that's going to allow us to really benefit from the slow pace. All right, so let's change our time scale back. Okay, so metal, staircase railings, shingles we don't need. Planks, staircase railing, floor tiles. So we probably can do with some floor tiles. So let's go and grab some of them. Even though, yeah, because we're down to 797 litres. So I'm just going to try and bring over as much as possible. And just pile it up on that cell point. So it'll basically take it whenever it needs it. So I don't always have to be... I'll check it every day, but I don't need to be monitoring it that, in, that intensely like we have been. So we just got to, I've just got to move this forklift out of the way. So I just want to double check these are actually floor tiles, yes. And I've got a, I think I've got a load of, well I've got a load of everything really to go, actually I'm going to put this around the corner because this is where the tractor is going to drive past. Used equipment, anything, we've still got that cultivator. Another 25 meter trailer, which I'm going to pass on because I've got already got one. All right, so should be able to just drive up alongside here and start picking these up. There we go. It's actually working, working beautifully. So we've already got 10,000 liters. See if we can't get a few more. All right, excellent. So let's back on out of here. So this is probably going to be plenty for what we need. Let's see if we can't overload it directly into the coaster this time. So it looks like we're in fall at the moment. You can see the leaves have gone red and orange and yellow. It looks like the roller coaster has actually been, had a little bit of build progress actually. So it should be pretty cool to see it come to fruition. All right, see if we can't overload. So that's the maximum it will take of floor tiles. So it doesn't actually take a huge amount. So all right. So this shouldn't pick up those items there. So if I drive on out of here, uh, unload, drive forward a little bit, unload the rest. Let's 
We'll get our Leap Wolf to push them into position. So I might try and just sort of keep these somewhat together. Let's just see how this works. So I don't want to push these too hard so they don't glitch out and get stuck under the map, which has happened to me before. And then you've basically got a pallet that's trapped. Shouldn't be an issue here because this is nice and smooth, but you just never know. Right, so that is our floor tiles. Let's go. So it's not accepting any more staircase railings. So let's see. Is that 5,000 wood beams? Let's go get some more metal because I know we're going to be using that um, a little bit. And if there is anything left off, left over at the end of the build, we'll just take it and sell it. Because once the roller coaster is done, that's it, project over. But I don't think you get any money for completing it. You just get the money uh, along the way for selling it, like delivering the items and getting getting paid. So. Alright, let's go and try and get another load of the steel. So obviously our steel production is really ramped up now, which is great. Got another load of ore just sitting there ready to go, so let's let's get that loaded. So usually what I've got to do is you start the engine once, turn the conveyor on, and then you can walk away. So that's to do with the automatic engine start. And that is now loading our iron furnace. Lovely. Okay, let's carry on. So, right, so let's see if we can't pick this stuff up. So we want to just drive up next to it. And that should trigger the pickup. So it appears it's going to be the front of the trailer, eh? Let's try this way. Okay, that's got a little bit... Okay, that's got a little bit. Let's see if I can't pick up this one just here. Okay, let's try and back it up. And might get it. All right, doesn't matter. Let's just do this load. And we will try with the other trailer. So the steel is actually quite heavy. You can feel the weight when you're towing this actually. Unless this is as much as it can carry because of the weight limit. I'm wondering if that's a... Let's, let's check that setting quickly actually. So what we're looking for is trailer fill limit. Trailers can only be filled until the max allowed weight is reached. So I've got that turned off. So that shouldn't be an issue. I'm thinking next episode we might start on our cotton production. So we can start to really get the fabric required to start building the boat. Because the boat gives us $300,000 every time one launches, so we can really start uh, getting our income up there. So let's see if we can overload directly, first of all. Okay, so that is... Okay, so it's accepted about half of that. So 4,000 litres. Okay, no worries. OK, 
Okay, let's go over here and we'll just dump it on the road. Get our old faithful to get it off the road for us. Okay, that's a nice convenient location. Uh, next thing I want to do is bring over the planks, planks long prefab walls. And then we'll have those ready to go for when they're requir uh, required. So let's see if we can't get these. So I'm just going to move them in relatively close. Okay, that'll be, that'll be fine. might even need the uh, big mat now forklift to, to lift these up if need be Oop, don't want to go too quick okay that's good all right let's go and grab all right let's just double check Yeah, so we can probably get a few more get a few more materials over here so we can carry on so we'll leave it there for this episode guys thanks for watching i really appreciate it uh, like comment subscribe all that good stuff if you haven't already and i will see you in the next episode bye for now